I've been in the love business for over 17 years here in Los Angeles, and it's my passion to help people fall in love. Renee Piani is a master at connecting people. She's an internationally known love and dating coach, the author of Love Mechanics, and the president of RapidDating.com. Some people call me an Italian yenta, other people call me a dating diva. But the real truth is, I'm here to inspire you to believe in love and offer you the techniques and tools to help you achieve your goals in love. A popular lecturer, talk show host, and guest, Renee's work has been featured on TV, radio, and newspapers nationwide. She's helped thousands find love. I get so excited when I get letters from couples that have met through my business. I'll call my husband and say, honey, we have another couple in love. And it warms my heart to know that I've made a difference in someone's life. Hi everybody, this is Renee Piani and I'm here live on the red carpet at the night of 100 stars for the Oscar party. It's so exciting, the energy's high, and the movie stars are getting ready to come out here on the red carpet and I am going to be asking questions about their love and relationships and get in the minds of these movie stars to find out how do they make time for love. Any tips for the people out there who watch you as a role model? Anyone that's dating, anyone that's uh, that's hoping to have a, an honest, genuinely, you know, trusting relationship wherever long it lasts, should should be based on the foundation of just up at a pace that's that's productive and not not racing uh, too fast. What let is me, your secret? Let me tell you something, guys. Don't dye the teeth. Don't clean up. Ladies love the animal. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is the Love Reporter, and I'm here with one of the most viewed women on the internet. Everyone laughed at me, thinks there's a line outside my door, but if you went to my door, there was nobody there. You're so beautiful, and you have such a charisma that they think that they can't touch you. I could help you create a vision to help you, and I teach a you class. Be my life coach? I'll be your coach. I will be your coach, and I can help I you to it. manifest. The dream man. I did a cougar convention here in Los Angeles just recently. I hosted the rapid dating there, and it was hot. Does your love life need a tune-up? If the answer is yes, no fear, we have some solutions for you. In the name of Renee Piani, the author of Love Mechanics. And I'm hoping to give the listeners and, and everybody out there some tune-up tools to inspire them not to give up on love, because it can happen at any moment, any time. Everyone out there is looking for love and connection so I help people with a lot of power tools and I see what goes on between men and women and there's a lot of tuning up that needs to be done. When Renee Piani knocks on your door. Hi Dale, Hi. I'm Renee Piani. Nice to meet you. Come uh, on nice in. to meet you. Are you ready for your tune up? Oh, all stoked. It's time to get moving. She's the co-founder of Rapid Dating USA as well as an image and dating makeover consultant. Oftentimes, people that are newly, you know, single, divorced, or just like haven't dated somebody for a while, pick up my book and I take them out to tune them up. We're talking about the ethics of love, and here to give us some guidance is relationship expert and the author of Love Mechanics, Renee Piani. Renee Piani. Renee Piani. Renee Piani. Renee First of all, who determines the ethics of love, Renee? I think it's an individualized thing. Everybody has an internal voice inside of them that determines their ethics. Yeah, right. And it's individualized depending on their values and, and, and the way they've been brought up. Now, my gut reaction to some of those scenarios was immediately, yes, no, oh my God, that's disgusting. Right. Uh, <laughs> so who decides what's right and wrong? I I think that the person inside, I mean, every one of us has this voice inside of us that goes, God, that's just not right. But some people, based on the media and the things about sex and all the right. stuff that is sizzling us, pushes us to do things right. that we might not want to do. Now, these colors are a lot more sensuous. Women like to make sure that they look good in, you know, their lingerie and stuff. So you have to have the environment. Are you get ladies agree with me? Now, get those on. Now, the other thing for simply creating a romantic environment is a coverlet and sheets. That's, these guys, so you can tell they don't make the best very often. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, now don't beat up the pillows. Okay, now we're going to put these. I'm, so, I'm just, now, I've never okay. done this before. I know, well, we noticed. Intercourse changes the course of the relationship. Right. So I tell guys, like not to push the woman to have intercourse yeah. and then he'll usually get sex sooner. Yeah. yeah well. Because if he doesn't push it, she's going, why isn't he pushing it? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I want the booty. <laughs> I started teaching seminars called The Smart Man's Guide to Understanding Dating and most of all, attracting women. And it turned out to be a big business for me. A lot of the men were coming for makeover. We completely cut off all of his hair. We colored it with an ash brown color. Guys, I wouldn't suggest going anywhere but to a professional to do that. 
So you recommend dating like a lot of guys before you settle down, right? Well, it depends on your age, but younger women, yes. You should date a lot of different men to refine and define the type of man that you want to end up no. with. Now, every woman would salute to this guy. A man in uniform does it for a lot of women. My There's God, just... I'm standing at attention and, right now. You know, they also have a certain discipline about them, and they, they make you sit up straighter when you're out on a date with yeah, them, that's for sure. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> he can align your chakras, okay? Yeah. He can teach you tantra, he can take you to the yoga classes, <laughs> great at massage, you know, he's very into your feelings, helps you get more in touch with your spiritual side. Hey, I've dated a few of these. They work for me. <laughs> would be the ultimate fantasy boy toy for most women now, in America. What happens with the right. fantasy boy toy, though? The boy toy thing, don't you just dig the physical part of the relationship and then you dump them? Well, I would say uh, yes in Good. most in most cases, uh -huh. yes. Wow. So cool. sometimes the younger boy toy turns into a husband. After writing two books and helping thousands find love, now it's your turn to get back into the driver's seat of your love life. So this could be the wake-up call that you've needed to get you back in the game.